now I will show you one another example that whatever cell you click it will display zero and if you keep on clicking different different cells it will keep on displaying numbers plus one of the previous number so you can see the form with a grid if I click here it will display zero if I click here then previous was zero so plus one will be one next click will make it two then three four five six this way it should work so I will show you how to do it so for this stop the program come to the interface and as I click it should display a number so on grid click I have to write the code grid dot test matrix and on click it should type so that is grid dot mouse row grid dot mouse call and what it should type a number let the number be num so let's declare this dim num as byte so we don't have to declare num is equal to zero because this it will take automatically so if we click it once it will display zero let's try if I click here zero 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 so clicking is displaying a value our half of the work is done but actually what we required so after clicking the first one if I click the second one it should come plus one so that is one it should be two it should be three now four and five so how to do it for that close the program and here you can write num is equal to num plus one so now let's understand the logic again declare a variable as num so it will display zero in the starting num is zero and after displaying zero so you know this is zero zero plus one it will make it one and it will keep in memory so when we click when we click the grid so it will again come and display and it will make num as one it will display one so this is the logic but there is one problem that after and sub all variables become zero so this num will also become zero so every time zero will be displayed if we use this code let's try see every time it becomes zero actually it is making plus one but after and sub it makes it zero see the codes so this one is making it plus one but after and sub every time it is making zero so to keep the number in memory what we have to do we have to remove this code and put in general declaration at the top so this is general declaration you can see general declaration it means this variable value will not get lost till the form is not stopped now the code should work perfectly try so first click 0 then 1 then 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so wherever you click it is working so our requirement is done now let's make it more advanced so as you can see these numbers if I click on blank cell it is working and if I click in filled cell it is getting overwritten you can see 19 now it becomes 20 21 22 so now let's program in such a way if I click in blank cell then only it should place a number if I click on a cell with an with a some text or number it should not type anything it should ignore it and it should work on the next click on a blank cell so how to do it so the logic is if the cell is filled with data then ignore it if it is blank then only type it so close it and now these two line you have to use with a if statement so 
so you can write you can copy this entire code till here and you can say here if grid test matrix you can read the code if grid test matrix wherever the row and column means wherever you click if it is equal to blank then only proceed with these two lines and if so this much of coding is enough if it is equal to blank then it will proceed with these two lines if it is not blank it will just ignore it will do nothing now let's try so if I click z here 0 1 2 3 4 it's coming now I will click on 0 you can see 1 2 3 4 nothing happened now if I click on blank cell after 4 fifth will be coming sixth seventh now if I click to any places it will not work the last was one seven so if I click on blank you can see it is adding values so this way the tutorial of clicking on a cell and displaying a number and a next cell with increased number one is done thank you